Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. If you're new here to this channel, please consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to click the bell icon. It will be the only way you'll be updated when I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, comment and put a comment in the subsection. Uh, in the sec comment section, I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. By the way, in today's video, we want to, to talk about something very small in one way or the other. Did you know about the law that governs domestic workers in Qatar? Most of you, you might have read it about it, but you don't know what does the law talk about domestic workers in Qatar? What does it talk about the welfare of domestic workers in Qatar? This is what you know we need to know because in this video, I want us to try to go through the, some of these important sections that you need to know uh, as a domestic worker. Where does you fall? Such that in any instance, you should know what to do in case of anything that happens. Because these are part of your rights and these are part of the law that are being stipulated by the government or the state of Qatar that regard to the domestic worker. We are going to look at what the law says. We say, in applying the provision of the law, the following words and phrases shall mean the following, unless the context requires another meaning. Ministry, it is the Ministry of Administrative Development, Labor and Social Affairs. Ministry of Material Administrative Development and Social Affairs. It is a competent administrative department at the ministry. A natural person who employs a domestic, an employer is a, a natural person who employs a domestic worker. A domestic worker, a natural person who carries out domestic work under the employer's management and supervision. In return for a wage, such as a driver, governess, cook, gardener, workers in a similar occupation. A domestic work, it is work which is carried out by a domestic worker in service of an employer or a person who resides with him or her. The labor contract is an agreement between an employer and the worker by virtue of which he or she shall be committed to carry out all domestic tasks entrusted to him or her by an employer in return for a wage. What do we mean by a wage? A wage is a monetary wage paid by an employer to a worker in return to his or her work. What does the law stipulate regarding to the domestic worker? Having heard all those terms, let's go to straight to the law. In section 2, the provision which applies to expatriate workers shall apply to the recruitment of domestic worker. Their medical examination, residence permit, provided they do not conflict with the provision of this law. In section number three, a domestic worker may not be employed other than by the virtue of the labor contract, which is written, certified by the department in three copies. One copy shall be handed to each party and a third copy shall be deposited at the department. The labor contract shall be written in Arabic in translation thereof in another language may be annexed if there is a difference in both text and text drafted in Arabic shall be considered to be an authentic text. The labor contract shall include provision relating to the employment relationship between the both parties. It shall include a particular, the following data, name of the employer, nas uh, nationality, the place of residence, name of domestic worker, nationality and place of residence, date of the contract's conclusion, type and nature of work entrusted to the domestic worker, date on which work started and the probatory period, the contract duration, conditions of renewal and end, wage agreed upon, the manner and the date of its payment, and the provision or data specified in this law. In section number four, the recruitment of domestic workers from abroad shall be undertaken by one of the recruitment offices certified in accordance with the above mentioned provision of the labor law. As an exception thereof, an employer or a person mandated by him or her may recruit from abroad a domestic workers for 
their own account after the department's approval. In section number five, recruitment from abroad of domestic workers of both sexes under the age of 18 years older or over age of 60 shall be prohibited. The minister or person mandated by him or her shall have the authority to exempt the maximum age limit from the recruitment. Section number six, a domestic worker shall be entitled to a paid probatory period. Its duration and rules shall be decided upon by the virtue of the ministerial decision. In article number seven, an employer shall be responsible for the following. Provide suitable housing and food to the domestic worker, appropriate medical care, medicine, medical equipment in case of sickness or injury during the performance of his or her duties as a result therefrom without incurring any financial burden on the domestic worker. The, uh, uh, under still the section 7, treat domestic workers well in a manner which will safeguard their dignity and well-being. Number three, avoid exposing domestic workers' health or life danger or harm him or physically or morally in a manner whatsoever. A domestic worker shall not work during his or her sick leave. A domestic worker shall not work during his or her rest periods, during his or her weekly rest, unless there is a prayer agreement between both parties to the contract. In section number eight, an employer shall be responsible for paying the monthly wage in Qatar reals agreed upon with the domestic worker at the end of the month or at the latest on the third day of the consecutive month. An employer shall not be considered as having made his or her duties unless he or she proves that he or she had deposited the worker's wage in his or her bank account or handed him the wage in cash by virtue of a receipt signed by the worker which confirms his or her receipt of the wage in full. An employer shall be prohibited from deducting any fees, expenses, or commission from the worker's wage in a return for the procedure of recruitment from abroad. In section number nine, an employer shall be prohibited from employing a domestic worker outside the country without the worker's approval. If this is confirmed, a domestic worker may end his or her labor contract before the end of the, its duration. While safeguarding his or her full right to end of service bonus, he or she shall have the right to return to his or her country of origin or place of residence at the employer's expense. In article number 10, if a domestic worker dies, the employer shall bear the transfer expense of his or her coffin to the country of origin or place of residence upon the request of the worker's family. If the employer does not send the worker's coffin after his or her death, the department shall do so at the employer's cost and shall ask to reimbursement therefrom through administrative means. An employer shall deposit all the domestic workers' entitlements in the department's treasury within a maximum period of 15 days as of the day which was the confinement of the worker's death. This shall be unconditioned on the domestic worker's receipt, including the detailed report which indicates the manner in which the appropriate sums were calculated. The competent court shall distribute the sums deposited to the survivor deceased workers in accordance with the provision of the Muslim Sharia or personal status law which is in force in the country of the deceased worker. If three years have elapsed after the day of the deposit, within identifying the person whom entitlement shall be paid, the court shall have to refer the sums to the, company, to the country's uh, public treasury. When we look at the section 11, a domestic worker shall undertake the following, abide by the country's law, social custom, tradition, as well as the religious moral values, carry out the work agreed upon, any other tasks which are required to be done in his own honesty and precision.
safeguard an employer's secrets, money, and property, and those residing with him or her visitors to avoid any harm to employer interests and pay particular attention to all of the above. Follow an employer's instructions and order and those residing with him in an optimal manner and this there are violations of the law and the law contract. Expose his life, money or life of the man of third parties in danger. Safeguard the objects which were handed to the worker or his work or handle such kind of objects in accordance with the nature of their use and the return to the employer upon finishing his or her service. Another one is avoid any work with other which is ruminated or which is contrary to the provision of the law regulations which is in force in the state. Treat well an employer or his family and person residing with him and refrain from harming them, especially children and held and held them. Let us look at section 12. What does the law still say about domestic workers? The maximum hours of work of domestic workers shall not exceed 10 hours a day unless there is an agreement to control it interrupted by periods for worshipping, resting, food. Such periods shall not be included in the calculation of the work the hours of work. In article number 13, it says that a domestic worker shall be entitled to a paid weekly rest holiday, which is not less than 24 consecutive hours. The timing of the weekly rest shall be determined based on the agreement between both parties and indicated in the labor contract. In article number 14, a domestic worker shall be entitled to every year spent in service to be paid annual holidays whose duration is three weeks. The worker shall be divided such holidays, select its timing and place where it should be taken unless there is an agreement to the contrary and provided that there is not in conflict with the worker's interest. A domestic work shall be entitled to every two years in service to a return air ticket to his or her country of origin or place of residence to go on holiday or remaining holidays. A worker shall only be to entitled one way ticket back to the country of origin or place of residence if the return trip is the final. In section number four, uh, section number 15, an employer shall be responsible for paying an end of service bonus to the domestic work who spent at least one year in service as of the date on which the law entered in force. At the end of the service, in addition of any entitlement, the bonus shall be determined in the agreement between both parties, provided it shall not be at least three weeks wage for each year spent in service. The domestic work shall be entitled to a fraction of a year multiplied by the period spent in service. An employer shall be entitled to deduct from the bonus the sums which owed to him or her by the worker. In section number 16, an employer may dismiss a domestic worker without warning or without granting him or end of service bonus for a year in which he was dismissed if the worker has not fulfilled the duties specified in the provision of this law or the labor contract. Let us look at section 17. What does it say about domestic worker? A worker may end his contract before its end of duration, before its end of duration, yeah, while safeguarding his or her full right to end the service bonus and any following. If the employer does not meet his obligation specified in the provision of this law in the labor contract, if the employer or the person mandated by him or he cheated at the time of concluding contract with the worker, with respect to the terms of employment. Hope guys will try to share out something. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel as we try to explore our rights, what we need to know. So these are the rights of the domestic worker, what you should know and what you should have. Hope I've shared something. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Consider subscribing. Put a comment in the section, comment section. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. See you again in the next video. This makes 
from the next creation. <laughs>